Throw Mr. Field Mouse, run! Run away! Don't go near the mower though. Not over there. Go! No! Not under my mower! No! Oh well. As long as I don't turn the blades on, he should run. <laughs> Good Tuesday morning, everybody. It is uh, the week right after Christmas, and I hope everybody had a great Christmas holiday. We are almost to the new year, but not quite there yet. But uh, in between this kind of week between Christmas and New Year's, not doing too much, but there are a few little projects I'm gonna knock out. I may have a del couple deliveries tomorrow, but we'll see. But today, we are mowing a one acre lot, and uh, let's just take a look at what we got. All right, so. Here's what we got, we got one acre. And uh, the client, I got this job, the client that owns this lot, he saw me mowing the trash lot where we cleaned up all that uh, homeless trash and the stuff that had been dumped over there and I took the MTL in there. He saw me over there mowing and asked me if I could mow this lot and I said, sure, yeah, no, no problem. So this isn't a violation or anything. This is actually outside the city, but he just wants it mowed down. Much, nothing in here, but just some grass and this broom straw stuff. So I've got uh, the green monster with me. And this worked out pretty good because uh, I just turned it in for service and the service shop, Revels Tractor, is just down the, literally like less than a mile down the road. So I picked it up this morning. She's got an oil change and new blades and fuel filter, spark plug, all kinds of good stuff. So it's time for a service for this thing. I have loved this Z930M since we bought it. And uh, I never really used a zero turn uh, too much before getting this one. Um, my brother Bridger has that Toro over at our shop, but I'd use it a couple times, but I wasn't a big fan of it. But since getting this thing, I love this thing. If you're looking for a zero turn, uh, to just kind of do, you know, mowing work here and there. This thing is awesome. I mean, it's like a mini bush hog. It's very, very powerful. So that's all we've got to do out here today. And then uh, I've got the weed eater and stuff. We'll clean up around these poles and stuff and over here. And then I don't know how close to this ditch I'm going to be able to get. Hopefully I can, I don't have to do that by much of that by hand, but there is some water in that ditch and I don't want to bury the mower down in that, but the rest of it should go pretty easily. So Let's get uh, old Greeny unloaded and get started.
all right peeps we are done got that done that took uh the mowing part took about a little less than an hour and then uh, a little bit of hand work took 15 minutes 10 minutes or so i uh ran out of line on the on the uh trimmer so i had to switch over to the the actual hedge trimmer which worked anyway because in some of these areas there were some little bradford pears and a bunch of vines and stuff in some of there and you know just stuff that the the uh trimmer is just not going to go through so that ended up working out better anyway but got all this mowed down and it looks really good i set the uh, the depth at about three and a half inches so about what a a bush hog would have cut this down to at roughly speaking so this all looks really good this is, i think this is like dead on an acre right here um i'm surprised nobody's bought it it's for sale but i uh, got everything around the gates cleaned up around the power pole gate down there the ditch ditch was soft i mean even like right there around that power pole was soft i came through there i did the ditch twice coming through there and i like i got to that corner over there and then turned the blades on and ran through there the first time and i was hauling i was like you know <laughs> i didn't want to creep through there and get stuck i was like if i go fast at least i've got a better chance of not getting stuck in here and then uh i came around and did another pass and got as close to that ditch as i could and then luckily i didn't get stuck but this mower again awesome love it really have been impressed with this mower but i want to do a lot like this every day with this mower no nah, not really um but honestly i make a little bit more money efficiency wise with the mower doing little jobs like this because for two reasons one this runs on gas um, i do put uh, non-ethanol in it but still it burns a fraction of, of the amount of fuel or gas compared to the what you know how much diesel the skid steer would burn in here you know a 24 or whatever horsepower gas engine versus 120 horsepower diesel engine this thing's burning a lot less uh, gas versus the diesel fuel in the skid steer the other thing is it you know the the my 250 gas 250 pulls this little mower around a lot easier than it does uh the skid steer you know the skid steer weighs 12,000 pounds odd this thing i don't know how much it weighs but it ain't a whole lot so i burn a lot less gas pulling this around compared to the skid steer as well so um for a little job like this and especially this thing being like literally a half mile down the road already like basically on the job it's too easy uh but it did a great job did a great job in here took down all them little bushes and stuff in there little wax kernels went through all that um but uh this thing goes through some blades though in this sandy soil that we've got here the sand here just eats the blades on these things up um this thing's got 77 75 77 hours on it and i'm on my third set of blades so i'm been lucky to get about 30 hours out of a set of blades and i run them down to the nub to the absolute nub i'm running them down so i'm getting every little bit out of the the blades that i can get but uh overall very impressed with this if you if you need one of these things if you're looking for a, a zero turn mower this thing i can't recommend this thing enough air ride seat get the one with the air ride seat trust me on that if it costs you a little extra it's worth every penny but yeah very happy with this so this is done stay tuned more stuff to come and i will catch you guys on the next vid bye everybody